guys, this is the first of the, the Cinema 4D series I will be doing, showing you tutorials and other things that you can do on Cinema 4D. So let's get started with today's. I'm going to be showing you my old uh, speed art. Well, not really that old. It's a week old. Reach for the sky, and I will be showing you how to import the picture with the text in it. So let's go to Cinema 4D. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new project, if you haven't already. And then, from there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on the light thing right here, but don't click light. Click on the sky, and then do it again, and then go to background. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on sky. Right click sky, and then go to Cinema 4D tags, and then go to compositing. From there this right here will pop up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go scene by camera and click it off. Okay. Then from there go to like whatever picture you want to import the text into. I'll put this one into um, the one I'm using into uh, the description below. So what you're going to want to do when you drag and drop it onto your materials right here is you're gonna, this thing's gonna pop up. Make sure you click yes. So then your your photo is right here and it's in a circular thing and it's in a material. So from there, click specular and make sure it's off. Then get this, drag and drop onto the background. So as you can see, the picture's there and if you render out, it's just a nice little picture. Okay, so before we get any farther, you're gonna want to go to render settings, which is right here. You're going to go to output and put your screen or whatever you're using this on um, the dimensions of your screen. So mine's 1920 by 1080. And then make sure you have like ambient concussion on and then we'll add global illumination after. Okay, so as you can see that these grid lines don't really meet up with anything. They're kind of just blank and uh, if you were to put say like a box it wouldn't really fit onto said uh, picture. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this and you're going to make sure that it's lined up with something on the thing. So I lined mine up with this right here going across and then maybe I'm going to... No, I think I'm going to leave that back up there. Okay, so just play around with this for a bit. I'll come back when I'm done, found my spot. Okay, so I've got it all lined up where I wanted it, and it looks really cool. So it, it's all lined up here, so if I were to put something in here, it will automatically be where I want it to be. So it will be really cool. So now let's go and put in MoGraft and put in a Mo text. So as you can see it just says text so just name this whatever you want and then yeah and then from there we'll do the next step. So I just put in a uh, like 909 right here and I'm gonna put it off to the side and then make the depth around 100 or right about 49 actually and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press control C control V for Windows users or command C command V to copy and paste it and then in this one you're gonna make this one just a little bit smaller and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fit it in the middle of the text and then go to caps starting cap fill it cap and this one fill it cap and then just Play around with these to whatever you like. There we go. And then maybe if it's not uh, perfect, you can make these a bit bigger so it looks a lot nicer. So right now what we have is this. And as you can see, it doesn't look like it's in the photo. It kind of looks like it's been photoshopped really badly in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to where the cube is and we're gonna go make a plane. 
So in the plane, what you want to do is you're going to make to want to make this as wide as you can, like that, and then over to the side so that you can't really see it. So from there, as you can see, there's going to be a black mark on our thing. Well, what you're going to do from there is you're going to go back to Cinema 4D tags. Actually, sorry about that. You're going to go to your material that you made for the background, and you're going to drag and drop it onto the plane. So from there, you're going to see all these things, and if we were to render, render this out, it's going to look like the picture up above, and we don't want that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, projection, and you're going to go to frontal. What this does is it enables to make the picture look like what it's on. So from there, as you can see, it's really dark. So we're going to go and we're going to add some lights. I have uh, grayscale gorillas. Most people have this, so that's what I'll be using. And you're going to just maybe drop this down a bit. And you kind of want to make it look like the sun. So wherever the sun is on your photo, try to make it wherever there's a certain light. And then you're going to want to uh, angle it a lot. So just drag this up, and then from there, there's some basic little things that you can do to make it a lot brighter. I'm going to make it just a bit more bright. So you go to overhead softbox, brightness, and I'm just going to raise this to where it looks just about right. I'm going to make it about 197. Okay, so from there, we're going to render it out and see what it looks like. So now it has some shadows and it kind of looks like a natural photo. So what you're going to do from there is you're going to make sure that you add another light so that you can see your text properly. It doesn't really matter the brightness of this one or where it's placed as long as you can see your text. I'm just going to dim it a bit. There we go. So render it out again. Okay, now it's actually starting to look like an actual picture. Okay, so from there, we're going to make a new material by double-clicking your materials. Go here and go to color and make this whatever color you want. I'm going to make it kind of a red. And make sure you go to reflection. Drop this down a bit so that it's around there, around 48. And put your blurriness on 5. If you don't have a like a really high graphics card or a computer that can't hold this, um, I wouldn't suggest turning on blurriness because it uh, really slows down your render time. So again, make another one and make this whatever color you want. I'm going to go for a little bit darker. And then again, just drop this down to what you feel is correct and then make this 5 and then drag that onto the other side. So let's render it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's kind of picking up all the other things, so it's not what we want it to do. So we're going to drop down the blurriness again on both of them to a lot lower so that we can actually see the redness or tint in the text. Okay, so there's our text and our photo, and you can see the blurs and everything, and it looks really cool. So if you don't want it there, it's okay. You can right now, or whenever really, is just move it over so that it looks just right where you want it. And so there it is in the text. And then if you do do this and you've had your softbox over to the side, I would suggest moving it towards wherever you need it to be so that you can see your text better. So this has been episode one of many and uh, what I need from you guys is some ideas and uh, I would be happy to make it into a series to help you guys make whatever. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.